Next, let's learn how to build a robot in the software. Click Free Build to enter the building interface. This line is the menu bar. In this construction interface, you cannot switch to the programming interface and the simulation interface. On the left is the building block area, which includes beams, pins, shafts, and other building block parts, as well as various electronic devices such as controllers and sensors. The large area on the right is the work area, where the parts of the building block area can be placed to build the model. Move the cursor to the building block area and the boundary line of the work area. Move the mouse left and right to change the size of the block area. Move the cursor over a building part and hold it for a while, and its name will be displayed. Click the icon with a minus sign to close this type of building part. After closing it, the minus sign becomes a plus sign. Click again to show the list of this type of part. Left-click the small icon here to collapse all parts, and click the small icon on the left to show all parts. If you can't find a building part, you can click here in the search bar and enter the name. Such as gears. Press the Enter key on your keyboard and all the gears will be displayed here. After deleting the entered name, press the Enter key on the keyboard to display all parts. Click a block, the block will move with the cursor. Click again on the workbench in the workspace. And the block will be placed on the workbench. Hold down the right mouse button and move the cursor to rotate the view. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out of the view. Hold down the mouse wheel and move the mouse to pan the view. Click to select the block, and then press the W, A, S, D, or up, down, left, and right buttons on the keyboard to change the direction of the part every 90 degrees. Right-click on the block and a window will pop up, where the name of the block will be displayed. The coordinate axis of this block will be displayed here. If you want to rotate the block around the x-axis, you can drag the axis angle slider corresponding to the x-axis. The value here will change accordingly. So you can drag the axis angle slider according to the value here. For example, the value here is 360 before rotation and 315 after rotation. 360 minus 315 equals 45, that is, the building block is rotated to 45 degrees around the x-axis. Left-click on the workspace outside of this window to close it. Move the cursor to the block and hold down the left mouse button, drag the mouse, then release the left mouse button. And the block will follow the cursor. Left-click to place the blocks. Left-click to select a block and press Delete or click the Delete block icon here to remove the selected block. The beam is the main structural member, how to connect these two beams. This requires the use of pin parts. For example, with this one pin. We can build it like this, move the pin to one of the holes of the beam and it will be automatically adsorbed and installed. Left-click, place the pin, install another pin, and connect this beam to this, thus completing the connection of the two beams. If you want to select these blocks at the same time, you can press and hold the left mouse button, move the mouse to make a box selection, release the left mouse button, then these blocks will be selected at the same time. If you want to select red and green blocks at the same time, use a box selection, and the blue block will be selected. After selecting a block, left-click on the workspace outside the selected block to cancel the selection. We can hold down the control key on the keyboard and select the blocks, so that the red and green blocks can be selected at the same time. There are two built-in built robots here. We click on this one robot, click OK, so this built-in robot is loaded on the workbench. There is a controller on the robot, it is the core component, and it is necessary to program. There are many ports distributed on the controller, which can be connected to motors or controllers. The left motor and right motor of this robot are connected to the M1 port and the M2 port by default. Then we install a color light module for the robot. Select these two pins, hold down the control key on the keyboard. First press the C key, and then press the V key. You can copy these two pins, and you can also copy the beam. If you can't install it, you can rotate the view and install it again. Note that the building blocks are connected to the controller, or connected to the controller through other building blocks. In this way, the block will be displayed in the simulation interface, otherwise it will not be displayed. For example, like this. 
This one block is not connected to the controller, nor is it connected to the controller through other blocks. In the simulation interface, this building block will not be displayed. After installing color light or other electronic devices, you need to record or set their connection ports. Right-click the color light and check that the connected port is P1, click here, you can choose to connect to other ports, such as P2. Left-click here to close the window. If you want to install the shaft into the hole of the beam, you will find that the white L-shaped beam will automatically absorb the shaft and interfere with the installation. We can use the freeze the block function. Freeze the selected blocks so that they do not participate in the construction and match. After selecting the block, click freeze the block, the block will become translucent, and then install the axis. You can see that the block will not absorb the axis. If you want to make this block back to its original state, you can select it, then click to unfreeze the block, and the block will return to its original state. After designing the robot, you need to save this building file. We can click here, enter the name of the file, such as robot, and then click save. Click here to return to the main interface, there is a prompt here, the robot will not be saved, because we just saved the build file, so click OK, here. When entering the building interface, the building blocks on the workbench have been emptied. At this time, you can load the local building file and select the building file you just saved. Click open, and the robot you just designed will be loaded. We return to the main interface. Enter the theme training on the main interface, there are various theme training spaces, let's enter the basic training first. Here are various basic training spaces. We first enter the blank space, and then we can see the simulation interface. Scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in or out. Hold down the right mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the view. Hold down the mouse wheel and move the mouse to pan the view. Click here to switch to the construction interface, and you can load the previously saved construction file. Click this icon to switch back to the simulation interface, and you can see that the robot appears in the field. The value in the lower right corner is the frame rate, which indicates your computer's performance. The higher the frame rate, the smoother the simulation and the better the visual experience. The maximum value of the frame rate is 60. If it is lower than 25, it will be stuck in the simulation. This is the data panel, where you can see the real-time data of the connected electronic devices, such as the speed of the motor, the color data of the lights. Click here to hide the data list, click again to show the data list. 